Hi, my name is Jonathan Hicks. I'm back at the Dice Cup, and this evening I'm joined by Ankush, Luca, A Bomb, Kevin. And we've just finished playing Relic Runners. Now, in this game, you're running around exploring the jungle essentially. You all, everyone starts from the middle here, and gradually you're going to be building these. You can see I've built these yellow trails here. Each person builds separate trails to help you navigate through the jungle. So, you start off on your turn, you can move one space on an unfamiliar trail, and then as many spaces as you like on trails that you've previously explored, which are these yellow ones here. If you go to one of these spaces, you can spend rations that you kind of um, acquire from base camp. So, if I spend a ration here, then. I can discard the top thing here, and this lets me build one of my trails. You have a supply of these trails, and that's how you're kind of building more of these trails around in the jungle. But what you're really aiming to do is to find these temples. You see these temple spots here? So if on my turn I was able to move along these familiar trails, and that could be my one unfamiliar trail to here, I spend my ration, and then you get to explore the top thing of this. Now, the different temples give you different things. The blue ones just give you M game points, the coins are points, so I keep that in my supply here. Um, and then gradually as you go through these, eventually when the bottom one is revealed, you stick a relic of the matching colour, so in this case a blue one on here. Uh, you have purple temples as well that tend to give you bonuses, so in this case you get a toolbox. You have this mini kind of tech tree down here, so this would let me get another toolbox. And every time you go past one of the river spaces, you flip over one of these things, which allows you to advance one of these toolboxes. Uh, and then you can spend these as sort of special abilities, so this will let you move one of your trails, give you some money or an extra toolbox, stick an extra trail on the map, double the points you get on one turn. There's various ways in which these will help you through the game. Uh, so if someone goes here and takes that special ability, then that was a purple one, so we'd stake a purple relic and stick that there. So gradually you can see on the map here, these relics are appearing around. Uh, the final kind of temple I should mention is the white temple, and they kind of give you special abilities, or the bottom levels of the white ones always give you some kind of end game scoring. So in this case you're getting points for the number of rations you've got left at the end of the game. Once the relics are out, you're then trying to run around, as the name suggests, picking up the relics. So uh, if you start on one coloured relic and then move to another space with the same coloured relic, so in this case I can just hop from here to here, um, but if we can find a longer route, maybe I start with this green one, and if there's another green one over here, if I can find a route that gets me from here all the way to here, then on your turn if you move from here to here, you get to pick up the relic and then you get two points or coins for every space that you moved along on getting there. So that's another way of getting a lot of points at the end of the game. Uh, once a certain number of relics have been taken, that triggers the end of the game, and whoever has the most points at that point wins. What do we think? So this is a light to medium strategy game. I think it's very difficult for on your first attempt because you have a lot of different options, but you won't know which one's best. I think the best way is to like set up for one big turn or like a few big turns throughout the game. Uh, I would play it again a few times, but I think it'll lack replayability after that. Okay, Luca? It's one of those games that when you hear the rules, you're a bit scared because you think there are too many mechanics, but actually after a couple of turns, you grasp all the mechanics quite easily. But I agree, it's one of those games that when you play the first time, you are not able to uh, do all uh, all the things that you, uh, you would be able to do. So it's one of the things that you can you have to replay, but I think yes, it's quite replayable be and a lot of interaction too because you can steal things from other people. Mm. Hey, Bob. Oh, yeah. Uh, whenever I see this on the shelf, I always look at the box art and think, oh, well, this is very light, it's not for me, I would like something a little bit heavier. All, all the time, and when I look at the components, I'm like, yeah, this looks very light. You play it, there's actually quite a lot of strategy there. There's quite a lot of options. You can actually plan around other people's turns. You can try and work out what they're doing. There's actually quite a bit to it. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Okay. Kevin? Oh, um, I really like this game. It was quite an interesting thing. But I think the most important thing is to try and plan your routes out a couple of turns in advance because a few times you get sniped and then you're missing out on the points. But overall, it's quite a nice one. I'm not sure about how many times you'd play it because although the temples move, the places where you can put down new roads don't move. So they're the same every single time you play the game. Rating out of 10? I'll probably give this one a 7. Okay. Ava? Um, I'd normally think about a seven and a half, but because it's very quick and you know, you're very much there, uh, getting it done, I think I'm actually going to give it an eight. Okay. Luca? I'm going to give it a seven. For me, it's a six. Okay. Yeah, it does sound complicated when you explain the rules, certainly. The first time I played this, was like, uh, what? What's going on? What am I doing here? But as Luca says, you do pick it up fairly quickly. After a couple of rounds, it's like, 
Oh, I see how this works now. Getting those roots down is really important because at the start of the game, you tend to move very slowly through the jungle, but once you sort of cut through the tracks, you can actually whiz around the jungle fairly quickly at the end, and then you're trying to pick up those relics to get the big points. As A-Bomb says, there's a lot more strategy than the first appears in this game. Uh, very much um, benefits from replay. I do really enjoy it. It's a great family way game, I think, in many ways, but one that the more sort of hardcore gamer can still play and enjoy because of the strategy that's involved. So I'd be on an 8 out of 10. All right, thanks for watching. That was Relic Runners.